Hey you guys, so I've added some new things onto my Macari page just in case anyone was interested. From time to time people ask me about Macari sometimes so I just decided to make a cute little intro about it just in case I forget to talk about it in the video. I have added new things onto my Macari. I've added some new makeup. I actually added some fragrances that I decluttered. I've added some clothes and I'm eventually going to add some skincare and body care so just stay tuned for that but on to the video. What's up everyone? It is your girl, JWD7 here aka Grace Honey and today we're going to get into another new makeup release. This child lay out here from sleezing Christmas stuff now. I'm like, why? Benefit, I don't need holiday sets now. Nyx, I don't need holiday sets now. What are you doing with life? Anyway, let's get into it. But if you like new makeup releases, if you like the latest complexion and eyeshadow reviews, if you like a good dupe a moment, if you like a new fragrance release, or if you just like a good fashion video and occasional vlog then this is definitely the place for you make sure you hit the subscribe button down below but let's get into these things so i guess i'll start off with the thing that's going on in the background that you can't see so sniff and half baked harvest came out with the chef's kiss off fall candle i guess it's back it's called half baked pumpkin smash so they sent it to me over in pr i'm actually doing a kind of like wear test i guess you go or scent test now in the background but this candle depending on what size you get retails for different prices so the biggest one you can get is 50 ounces and that one retails for 129 and then there's the one that they sent me which is the 8.5 ounce that i believe was 46 and then there's a um six ounce that i believe was 34 do not quote me i know the 120 nine one is a fact though for 50 ounce one and that was actually sold out so people clearly enjoy this candle it came back and they have run out of stock so i would say i'm getting it but i already have it so i can't say i'm getting it but if you're interested in getting this candle now i don't know if it's coming to alter or not i feel like the candles usually do come to alter so it might come to alter i'm not 100 percent sure but if you did want to pick this up i do have a code with sniff so you can use grace 10 and save on your purchase of anything that you buy from sniff's website um, so the next thing we have to talk about is the LYS foundation stick. So it's supposed to come out the 27th on their website and at other retailers. I'm excited about this. I'm supposed to be getting this in PR, but the PR hasn't showed up yet. It's only the 22nd, though. I'm hoping I'll get it by, you know, before the 27th gets here. That would be nice, but we just have to wait and see. So, yeah. But I am definitely interested in it. I think I picked the shade DG3. I'm pretty sure that's the shade I wear in the actual liquid foundation. So I figured that would be perfect for the stick foundation. But I'm excited about it. I want them to come out with powder blushes. I feel like they have like cream brushes. But it's like I need some powder to go on top of the cream. But I think theirs dries down to a cream to powder form if I remember correctly. Don't quote me. So yeah. But I, I definitely want this stick. I feel like y'all knew I was getting this stick. It's just, it's giving everything I needed. So, there you go. On to the next thing. So, I meant to talk about these last week too. These are the Valentino Spike Valentino Buttery Matte Lip Colors. So, the Valentino lipsticks, I've seen them before. It says they're supposed to have cotton oil extract, moisturizing formula that keeps lips looking hydrated and smooth, aroma light, complex, infused with light to add dimension and intensity of each color then there's 12 percent pigment concentration which is 10 hour stay true color that pops on all skin tones so i'm like that's interesting i'm interested in trying these and when i say i saw them i mean i saw them on um instagram a while ago i haven't actually seen them in the store i think you can purchase these from sephora right now though don't quote me i'm not 100 percent sure i'm interested in possibly trying one i'd like to compare these to the ones from um color that they're coming out with because they're supposed to be coming out with a matte liquid lipstick matter of fact i mean not liquid lipstick a matte lipstick matter of fact let's just talk about those now because i kind of want to compare both those against the nars um power matte lipsticks and see how they are but ColourPop has your new fave lipstick for a perfect palette that stays all day with 16 shades to choose from so these are the r power pout long wearing lipstick it's a comfortable cushiony formula that gives intense payoff in a swipe with shades caught your eye so they have like they said um i believe they said 16 shades yeah and these come out today because it's the 22nd when i'm filming this at 12 p.m on ColourPop. you could have had early access yesterday on the 21st if you had bought 
them to the TikTok shop. I'm noticing brands are doing that now, going through TikTok shop. I don't know if it's like the cost is lower or because they feel like they have a bigger consumer base if they just do it on TikTok. But I saw Glamlight did that on TikTok too. Now I know um, Angela Konikovich was saying that a lot of the content creators that um or sorry, not content creators, a lot of the consumers that are where she's from, foreign countries, you can't buy a TikTok shop in foreign countries. You can only buy it in the U.S. So she was saying how she felt that was unfair. And I get where she's coming from because it's like everybody wants to have early access to it. There are influencers in other countries that will have to buy their own makeup like I do. And, you know, them having to wait longer in the U.S. Um, consumers have an advantage, which they already have because they're in the U.S. and then you only selling it to them ahead of time. It's kind of unfair to the consumers because my girl Cola Ball, she couldn't buy these lipsticks until today or she might not still be able to buy them now if they're not on the UK website but I don't think they have a separate UK website the way Sephora does so she can buy hers today but it's like that's not fair to all the content creators in foreign countries or just consumers in foreign countries who want to be able to buy it on release day too so I get where Angie's coming from by saying that and I thought she made a very good point with that but the point is you everyone can get it now from Colourpop's website y'all are excited about this Adept was like they're sneaking um the rose mauve packaging that people asked for because she said that we asked for this mauve rose palette two years ago and it's finally here so i'm like yes adept say less i'm reaching i'm snatching i'm grabbing i need it you can use code gel beauty 87 when you go buy it because y'all know i'm getting it she said mauve now i'm, I'm y'all know i don't really do boring eyeshadows as a general rule but honey when i do it's gonna be cool tone or it's gonna be mauve so when she said mauve she had my undivided attention i'm wondering how well this will go with um knit hydra because i love me a pink and purple moment when it comes to like boring shades i'll play it up with like a fun bright purple so i wonder if this palette will go well with that it's called unity by the way that's what the front of the packaging says so i'm very interested to see how this goes on but yeah use code gel day seven and you know Hook yourself up with this palette because I know I'm getting with my thirsty self. I have no wish to deny it. I should have talked about this other candle when I talked about the one I started off with. My bad, y'all. But Jackie's coming out with Caked Up again. So it, I don't know if it, the notes changed in it or not. I don't have my old Caked Up anymore, I don't think. Or it doesn't have the notes on the packaging. Funny to know, but it says the top note is roasted pistachio and almond cream. It says the middle is honey, jasmine, coconut, and then the base is vanilla bean and musk. So this sounds like a me type of candle. It definitely sounds like a me type of candle. I'm here for it to survive. I'm give it's giving. I'm living. I love it. I want it. I need it. So I will definitely be picking up this candle. I'm so glad. I mean, I'm not necessarily glad she redid all of them because the matcha business I do not like anymore. But I'm wondering if this is supposed to make up for matcha business and it's going to be more like the scent of matcha business. Because if I remember correctly, matcha business had the roasted pistachio and the almond cream and the vanilla, or whatever. And I think the coconut, I think it just didn't have the honey and the jasmine. So I'm curious how some of this is to the original matcha business. I don't have my box anymore, so I don't know. I'll try to look that up and see though. But the point is, I'm getting this. When it hits the Sephora website, I plan on getting it. Now, I don't know if she's going to leave the candles in Sephora because I noticed like all of them were on clearance and then going out. And I don't remember seeing the new ones on Sephora. Don't quote me though. They might be there. But the point is I'm going to have to get my hands on this candle some kind of way. And I kind of want to try that one she came out with. She had like a black berry one that they had from, um, that she did with, um, what do you call it? Uh, Crown Roy. So that one sounded interesting as well. I'm wondering if it smells like black currant with like a hint of whiskey or liquor. I don't know what Crown Royal is. I'm assuming it's whiskey. It's, what what is it? Someone tell me. I don't know. I know. Don't take away my black heart because I don't know what Crown Royal is. But I I honestly don't know what kind of liquor it is because I don't really drink dark liquor, so I have no idea. But like I said, the point is I need to get on her website and get this candle, and maybe I'll finally be able to get hard to get an Indian full size because I'm telling y'all they seem to be the impossible fragrances to grab. I cannot get them to save my life, and I'm irritated. Now, um, let's segue into this fragrance. So I was excited about this one. I actually asked um, Makeup On Your Radar about it because I didn't see her post about it, but she knew about it. So this is the Seven Virtues Candied Lychee. So um, the girl I told you all uh, that did the collab with Lake Ormond, the, the peach fragrance I like, her name is Jade. She got this in PR, I'm assuming, from the Seven Virtues. I haven't even seen it posted anywhere yet. So I'm hoping that means it's coming soon. I follow her on Lemonade, so that's how I got this information because I think she does TikTok, but y'all know I'm not a TikTok person, so I don't 
do that. I just broke like a hundred on TikTok literally today. I, I don't do the TikTok thing. Anyway, but um, the notes in this are sugared lychee, jelly bean, peony, geranium, vanilla, and crystal amber. So I was hoping this would be like a sweeter version of sparkling le leche or lychee from um kayali because y'all know i love kayali fragrances and i have that one in my collection i feel like it goes good with a good variety of my fragrances to layer it with but i want to see about this candy de leche so i'll let y'all know when i get more information on it but she just posted it on lemonade and i figured i'd share it with you here so i'm excited about that let's talk about some stuff i'm not excited about i'm not getting i'm not here for it. it's not about it um y'all know how i feel about hourglass i don't care so they just decorated um the same palette that they sell to y'all 50 times over every year for like the last 10 years that you buy i mean if you're not my skin tone you buy um what are these called the ambient light what is what is it ambient lighting edit palette so it's 90 dollars and it has like this limited edition packaging it says it's with barney's and it includes the cold brand palette two sorry co-branded palette two lipsticks and a fragrance which is jane's first apparently i don't i don't know if that's just what the decoration is supposed to be on it or what because i thought barney's went out of business that's why i'm like i'm a little confused i swear barney's was out of business but i don't know whatever if you're interested i think it did it say it's available now it doesn't say when it's going to be available so i don't know if it's available now or not i guess you can check hourglass's website and see but we all know i'm not interested in this so thank you next next thing um is this 25 anniversary palette from viziart it's just the viz what the viziart pro neutral mats 25e palette i don't know they took it out of plastic packaging and put it in that foldable packaging that they normally do the smaller palettes in and they're trying to sell it to you again since I guess this is their best selling one. Y'all know I don't like warm tones personally myself so that's why I'm just kind of like mm. Plus, I don't know, it's a whole bunch of neutral tones and I'm not with neutrals. Like if they had did the editorial brights or something in this packaging I might have been more excited about it. But since they've updated their plastic packaging from back in the day when this palette first came out, I'm fine with having the just newer packaging where you can pop them out and move them around. Not that you can't do that with this one but you know, if I already have it, I don't need it twice so... This is a skip for me. Since we talk about neutral palettes, let's just get um, Natasha out the way, y'all. So, the I Need a Warm Eyeshadow Palette is out. You can use code GELBEAUTY87 on her website to pick it up. Or, I'll have it linked down below, hopefully, with Sephora. I don't know if it's come to Ulta yet or not. I know it says Sephora today because I got a notification this, this Thursday morning that it was there. But, uh, yeah, I don't know about this. I personally feel like it's a poor man's version of what do you call the palette um the gold palette because they try to do the multi-chrome situation and all these shades like i'm supposed to be excited but i rather just have the gold palette because it's not like i can't find a multi-chrome and just put it in a palette and call it a day so i prefer the original gold palette not the golden palette but this one i would get if it was like 50 percent off but i wouldn't pay a regular price for it it's not worth regular price to me personally i mean i might even do it at 30 and then use my discount and get an extra 15 because that's close to 50 but it's like i just can't pay a regular price for this because it's just not exciting y'all know how i feel about warm tones i don't like warm tones i don't care about warm tones i had an idea to do this palette versus like the golden palette since i feel like that one's supposed to be a little bit more like I guess neutral is if you will for a series I got going on but I'm like I just I just can't justify $69 for this because I'm like it's just another warm tone palette from Natasha and like I feel like she just keeps giving us these same new palettes I'm like give me something fun why did you bring out that other one the what was it the rose and wood one that I showed you all that was supposed to be a midi palette why did she bring that one out because I'm like I just don't I don't want this I don't want it so I'm not picking it up right away I might pick it up later on it depends on like what kind of deal I can get if I can get a good deal I'll pick it up sooner than later but if I can't you just gonna see it whatever you see it I don't I don't want to say I, I refuse the last thing I don't plan on picking up let's get it out the way is the RMS Beauty Sun Cover Up Super Tint Bronze Spectrum SPF 50 Sunscreen 
so I guess this is supposed to be like a tinted sunscreen, kind of like everybody else been doing. It says silicone free daily tinted moisturizer with SPF superpowers. Okay, like I thought. Um, it's supposed to be a long wearing, skin loving, multitasking, hydrating skin protects from the sun's damaging rays as well as defends against blue light and provides lightweight, breathable coverage that effortlessly even skin tone for a naturally radiant complexion. It's early access now on their website. I don't... Do they sell RMS Beauty at um, Sephora? I don't even know. But it's available to pick up now if you're interested in purchasing it. I personally don't want any part of it, but you know. Teach his own. Um, a couple of these other things, I was kind of just like, this is high. I don't... Why is this so high? So, this Victoria Beckham Beauty, the concealed pen with TFC8, is $68. Why am I paying $68 for concealer? Well, let's see. It says the high performing double impact formula of the conceal pen gives you exclusive second skin light to medium coverage that immediately perfects with skincare actives improving your complexion in four weeks. It diminishes dark circles. It shows visible improvement of the fine lines and wrinkles. It improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation. It has eight hour nourishing veil, which spot concealed with radiance, real skin finish, and 16 flexible shades built from light to medium coverage that stays smooth throughout the day and never settles into fine lines. It's supposed to be clinically proven skin benefits. And then it has something from Augustine Bander, which is reduces the appearance of fine lines and dark circles, decreases eye puffiness, and improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation. It's supposed to have precise skin detail, a combination of carbonated dispensary and tapered brush allow for controlled and effortless single handed blending ideal for fast one handed application and touches up on the go so I'm still on the $68 price point just because it's TFC 8 in it does not mean I want to pay $68 for a concealer I am intrigued though because I do like everything I have tried from her brand like everything I've tried I like so I can see myself picking it up in the future but it's like this to me is more like a Black Friday purchase because like I'm not trying to pay seventy dollars on one concealer, especially when I don't know I can necessarily take it back. Like the difference is with Tom Ford and stuff like that, I know I can take it back to like Sephora. I know I can send it back to Nordstrom's or Berdoff Goodman or whatever. Like I know I can send that back. With this is like I gotta hope it works out. And then if it doesn't, I just spent like close to like eighty dollars on one concealer. And like to me, that's a lot. So with Victoria, I know I like her products. It's just to me, that's just a lot. So I'm trying to debate. Comment down below and tell me if you want to see me review this. Because, like, if enough of y'all say y'all want to see me review it, I'll do it. But it's like, I just don't necessarily want to spend close to $100 on one concealer. Especially with all the other things that are coming out we're about to talk about that I'm interested in. Like this Glossier Body Care Release. So, they're supposed to have a moisturizer or body butter that's coming out. That's supposed to smell like their fragrance, You. And if you all remember their fragrance, you is one of the most your skin but better fragrances. So I can definitely see myself picking this up. You're supposed to be able to get early access if you rouge on Sephora on the 28th, I believe. So they have a whole bunch of stuff that's just launching and it's supposed to be like appreciation for all the rouge members. So if you're rouge, you can pick this up on the 28th early access, I'm pretty sure. And I'm definitely picking it up. I kind of want to do a wear test of the body cream and the fragrance in comparison to the Fenty body cream and fragrance. Now I know they're not going to smell the same but it's like I want like for the wear of the body butter to see how long it wears and how long the fragrance lasts combined with the body butter because I like to do stuff like that. So I'm thinking I'll do a video on that. we we'll just have to wait and see but I definitely plan on picking it up. I also plan on picking this up too. I had talked about it with you all in the community tab so I didn't know if you wanted me to like talk to you about it with um new makeup releases but I figured we could go ahead and do it especially since it's coming up soon so this is the Patrick Ta what's the name of this the Patrick Ta major skin hydro Lux luminous skin perfecting foundation so he says after years of perfecting lit from within skin on everyone Patrick develops his everything foundation so it's lightweight and luminous with serum inspired ingredients Medium coverage 
formula boosts radiance and blurs imperfections, blending beautifully with bare skin and even better with makeup. And 30 shades from fair to medium with different undertones. And this is $58. So I was kind of taken aback by the price because I was like, Patrick, honey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's your first time dating, you think I'm supposed to pay $60? Like, oh, 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 Like, you better be glad I like you, Patrick. Because 60 bucks for Luminous Foundation sounds outrageous. No, but it's, um, it has triple hydration complex, which plumps and hydrates skin. And it has plant-derived squalene, which improves elasticity and diffuses the lines. It has kombucha, which enhances skin smoothness and radiance. And you'll be able to get early access for this on the 26th. So the day after Adrian Game Over's birthday, which is a Monday, the 26th of August, I can go ahead and pick this up. And I sure will. Everyone else is going to have to pick it up on the 27th. But if you're a, um... Rouge, remember, you can pick it up on the 26th. But yeah, so I'm excited to definitely try that out. Y'all know I've been one Patrick Tyler to do that forever. All he needs now is a concealer, and we will be set on complexion. Because he gave us the cream one, which I liked. I know a lot of people didn't like it. I liked it. I especially like it for, like, the fall and winter time. Because that's when it works best for me. Obviously, it wouldn't work now. So I'm kind of concerned about this foundation working now, too. Because it's supposed to be a luminous um, hydrating foundation. And I'm like, I have oily combination of skin. So that doesn't sound ideal for me. So I'm, we're going to have to mattify it down with some powders for real. But we're getting it, though. I, I know I'm getting it. Because I love a Patrick Tom moment. Um, I think that's the last thing I had that is early access at Sephora. They're supposed to be giving you um, early access to some new Fenty product in a trial size. If you spend $30 on a certain day. I want to say it's the 24th. Don't quote me. But you're supposed to be able to get early access to a Fenty thing. So I'm interested to see what the Fenty thing is. Anyway, on to this next thing. So I probably should have put this in the thing that I'm planning on getting. But this is the MAC Studio Radiance 24 Hour Luminous Lift Concealer. It instantly conceals, hydrates, and brightens the image. Just look on dark circles by 18% in just 12 weeks. It provides 24 hour medium buildable coverage featuring 80% skincare ingredients and 44 radiant shades. I do like the variety of shades. Um, it didn't say how much or maybe I didn't um, screenshot that part, but it sounds interesting. It's just I know I don't really review MAC or use MAC that often. Not that they're not a great brand, but it's like I already have so many luminous concealers anyway. And I don't feel like my audience really cares about MAC. Y'all can comment down below and tell me if you're interested in it or not. But I'm just kind of like, eh. Let's get another thing. So there's this Bobbi Brown Cream Glow Highlighter. It's a limited edition multi-use highlighter for subtle radiance and a fresh polished look. I don't know about you all, but I personally, I don't know, I wasn't really crazy about the Natasha Denona cream highlight everything situation. So, I don't see myself picking this up. I don't really buy Bobbi Brown. I've told y'all that before though. So, I'm kind of just like, eh, it's Bobbi Brown. I don't, you know, I don't really rock with Bobbi Brown like that. Or Jones Rose or whatever. I don't buy from them. And it's not because... I don't think their products are fine because I remember I had a Bobbi Brown lip gloss in high school and I thought I was doing it because I had a Bobbi Brown lip gloss, but I don't know. I just, the brand just doesn't speak to me. So I don't personally plan on getting it, especially since I had that bad experience with the um, Natasha Denona one. When I tried it, I first liked it, but I was kind of just like, mm, now. So I can see myself passing on that. This is an interesting thing to me. I don't know that I'll necessarily pick it up though because I have so many of these. I actually have them all laid on the bed now and I'm about to do a declutter part one declutter of these but this is the Cali Ray blurry blush pore minimizing cream blush with niacinamide why this name is so long why do they name everything so long have y'all noticed that they names be like a mile long and you're just like am I done reading it yet oh I am okay good so this is a blurring and pore minimizing cream to powder blush that delivers a transfer free diffuse buildable pop of color to cheeks I like the fact that it says cream to powder I do like cream to powder ones just because I feel like that helps them set themselves down and then the other powder I put on top is just an extra protection or extra coloring for someone like me who has oily combination skin and like the blush eats away at the face. So it'll set itself down nice and then I have an extra layer of protection over it. So that is kind of making it intriguing to me. But you know. Mm. It says this is a clean lightweight liquid blush with a velvety texture that creates a soft focus vibrant color on cheeks. The long wearing formula is packed with skin boosting, hydrating, and oil absorbing ingredients. Great for minimizing pores for all day wear. Hmm. They're $25 a piece. They will be on Sephora's website 
um, as early access on September the 1st along with the um, Huda Beauty Foundation and then uh, it'll go on sale on the 2nd for everyone. So I might end up getting one of these since I'm going to hook up that um, Huda Beauty Foundation anyway. I might just pick up one of those blushes as well. I have to wait and see. So I'm excited for this. Um, Angie or Angelica Nikovich here on YouTube, her brand Singe is coming out with some blushes. So she has a blush collection. It launches today when you're seeing this video at noon. It has four glowy but not sparkly powder blushes. Each blush is $18 a piece or you can get all four for $65. I am intrigued by the yellowish blush just because I'm curious how that would look on some of my skin tone. And I like the variety of blushes she came out with because she came out with a staple pink and then she came up with some more neutralish shades that I feel like would look good on a good variety of skin tones for people who don't like really bright blush. And if you do like a bright blush, she has the popular bright pink blush shade. So I think these shades were pretty nicely curated and I am excited for her. I might be picking up the yellow one. I need to pick up some of her brushes, like the cheek brush she always uses in her videos and the foundation brush always look nice to me. So I might pick those up along with this. I think it'd be cool if she had combinations where you could do like, like I know Kirsten Dominique does this where you can pick like one blush and then you can pick like one and you can get the powder brush to go with it. So I hope she does that. I think that'd be a cool combination of um, ways to pick up this for people who haven't tried her blushes, brushes yet but want to see her come out with like color products and she finally has to have a nice combination and sell some more brushes so hopefully she does that i don't know what's going on and who all over there but you know i am excited for her finally coming out with a actual makeup product as opposed to makeup brushes so i will pick up a blush um, I'm interested in the yellow one just because I feel like it's like a wow factor thing to see how it'll look on some of my skin tone. So we'll have to see how that goes. But next we have the Brick Beauty and It's Bell Cosmetics launch. So she came out with a palette, a blush palette and an eyeshadow palette. And she said it comes out on her birthday. So her birthday is the same day as my son's so August 25th. Um, so I'm excited for her. Um, it doesn't say how much they cost. I think I forgot to screenshot that part. My bad. But um, you can pick it up on Asian Game Mom's birthday at 3. So there you go. Um, I'm excited for her and congratulations to her on that collab. I'm sure she had a fun time making it. It looks like a really fun and nice palette. I'm personally going to look at all these as quads and I feel like you should too. You got the green quad in the corner here. You got the blue and purple one here. You got a lighter blue one down here and you got a warm tone one right here. So I like when people do stuff like that because everybody that um, buys makeup or wants to support you might not be as colorful or as fun as you are. So the way she set up this palette is just look at these quads and you easily come up with an eye look and you don't have to be confused. So shout out to her for that. I love when people People do that because everybody isn't as creative as some other people but they still might want to support you and like the brand and the formula and all that so shout out to her I think she did a great job of curating it to where people who aren't really that versed in makeup can understand and, and pick a quick eye look out and go now I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna pick this up right away I will probably pick it up eventually but I'm it's just not um, something that's a high priority to me with all the stuff that's coming out right now but again congratulations to her so here is Nightcap Perfume from Orbella. This is supposed to be Bella Hadid's fragrance line. So it's uh, aphrodisiac with warmth and comfort. Ginger and cardamom spice bring a sparkling, shimmering effect to cozy vanilla and rich wood. So the top notes are ginger, cardamom. The middle notes are vanilla and citrus. And then the base note is sandalwood and patchouli. This one I would possibly be interested in. Y'all know how I am about a vanilla fragrance. So I can see myself looking into this one. Hers is supposed to be patchouli essential oils. Oh no, sorry. It's citrus essential oil. And then copamba co co essential oil. So... It retails to $35 for the travel size, $72 for a one ounce, and I'm assuming it's $100 for like 3.4 ounces or something like that. If it's available on her website now, my whole thing is when it comes to Alta and I get a chance to go inside and smell it, then I'll be more prone to possibly picking it up. But right now, I'm just like, you know, I need to be able to come in store and smell this or get it from Alta. And right now, it just says it's on her website. So when it comes to Alta, I might pick it up. We'll just have to wait and see. Is there any more other things to talk about? I'm going to end with the Christmas stuff so I can give a random of the foolishness about that. No, I don't have to talk about anything else. That's why I haven't brought them up yet. I know y'all like, where's the Christmas stuff? Girl, we're going to get to it, girl. Just 
Give me one more minute. One more creator. I'm excited. I have the collab. So Betty Bean has a favorites eye brushes set from Sigma. She get she picked some brushes that she likes. So she has the E40 from Sigma, of course. She picked. A, it seems like she picked a lot of the brushes that I like to use from Sigma. Funny enough. So she picked the E38, which is the diffused crease brush. She picked the Detail Blending Brush, the E27. She picked the Precision Firm Blender, which is an E42. She picked the Pencil Brush, which is an E30. And then she picked the Eye Shading Brush, which is an E55. Yeah, she literally picked all the eye brushes that I picked from Sigma. That's hilarious. So I'll show you all of them since I have them here in person. This is the Sigma E40. That one. So this is the diffused crease brush right here. As you can see, it has looser um, bristles than the E40, in my personal opinion. So that way it can, you know, diffuse the color a little bit better. E55. I think the only one I'm not gonna be able to find is the firming one. That was at home. And I think I only have one of those. This is the E27, the detailed blending brush. I like to put this one in the crease sometime or when I wanna add an extra color to the outer bead because I use the um the e25 blending as a general rule that i use this one when i need to put a second layer toward the back of the eye oh wait here it is this is the makeup by shayla collab with them and this is a e30 so it's just a cute little pencil brush but yeah so she picked just about every brush that i like from them that's <laughs> that's hilarious so i can definitely see myself picking up this set just because i like all the brushes in this set so this retails for 81 dollars it's available now on sigma's website congratulations to badly bean for collabing with them now you can't use my discount if you purchase this so you can't use gel beauty for this but you can use gel beauty for anything else that you um want to buy from sigma and i've given y'all sigma recommendations in the past because i love me a good sigma moment i have on their bronzer and highlighter right now because i have a love of sigma now let's get into roasting this christmas stuff because who 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 told you? It's supposed to be Christmas in July, not August. You're late, first of all. If we were trying to go for that, you know, Christmas in July, and it's like August the 22nd. No. Christmas in July or just wait till Thanksgiving or Halloween like y'all normally do. That's why I'm like, why are they trying to push it so hard so early? Like, is it something you know that I don't know and that's why you're pushing it so hard? Because I'm trying to understand why I need to see Christmas stuff in August. I don't think I do. Why couldn't you at least wait till October? I, I'm not... Hmm. Huh. Anyway. So, there's a whole bunch of stuff from Benefits. So I figured we start with them. They have a whole bunch of different holiday sets. It's one called Looking Crispy Full Face Beauty Kit. And that one's like $97. I don't know which one is which though in this picture. So, I have no idea. I just snapped one picture and went on my day. And then there's one called Souped Up Beauty Tier 2 Beauty Set. It's $53. And there's the Extra Glam Infused Tier 3 Beauty Set. That's $62. Then it's Piping Hot Beauty Stocking Stuffer Set. It's $23. Okay. Peace, Love, and Pores Mini Beauty Set. The $61. Hooked on Lashes Roller Lash Mascara Set, $42. Whole Latte Lashes Stocking Stuffer Mascara Set, $23. Wild Caught Lashes Fan Fest Mascara Set, $42. Poor Mixed Medley Poor Care Set, $50. Fresh Caught Lash Mascara Set, $42. Noggy or Nice Brows Trial Set, $40. Bad Gal Energy Tier 1 set $41. Don't have Bad Gal. Riri out here suing y'all. Uh, Coco Loco or Coco Loda Blush Palette $35.50. Chocolicious Cheeks Blush Palette $35.50. All You Need Pore Stocking Stuffer set $25. Whip It Eye. Sorry, Whip It Glam Eye Stocking Stuffer Set, $23. And all of this is available at Selfridges right now for anyone who's interested. Again, I feel like they should have played off the Christmas in July if you was going to show us Christmas stuff now. Because now it's just like, it's almost September and it's like, it's just some weird time that you decide to show me Christmas stuff that I really didn't need to see. 
Okay, so the last Christmas thing we're going to talk about is the holiday collection from, what is this, um, NYX. So they came out with a collection um, with Home Alone. And there's a lot of different pieces to it. So there's the Home Alone collection. There's the Advent Calendar. The Ultimate Battle Plan Eyeshadow Palette. That actually looks cute to me. The Fat Oil Lip Drip Trio. That I don't really care about. Y'all know how I about lip oils. Then they have the Holiday Collection. Which is two Buttermilk Face Palettes. That actually sounds interesting. Face Melt. The Buttermilk Face face palettes then there's four butter glosses in hot chocolate swirl holly berry swirl peppermint swirl sugar cookie swirl so i'm not gonna front i'm interested in the eyeshadow palette and maybe a couple of these butter glosses because the eyeshadow palette actually looks nice the butter glosses um seem cool the face palettes actually sound nice too so i can see myself picking up one of those as well so I'm here for it, you know, this collection I actually like, but I think I'm just um, a fan because I love Home Alone. And if you didn't know, the movie Home Alone was shot in Chicago and like some suburb of Chicago. So I'm like, I can get down with this, but those are the things I had to talk about with you all. Let's go over and check and make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm hoping I didn't because I'm like, I feel like I've been sitting here talking for a while. And a lot going on, so I'm just like, yeah. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the diamonds. Make sure you subscribe. My membership is down below if you're interested. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye. The fun doesn't have to stop here. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram for the latest fragrance, fashion, and eyeshadow palette looks along with comparisons. I'll see you over there.